Welcome back to the Surface Day Podcast, everybody. Got my friends in the studio over there. Nick Pacheco. Hello, everyone. See Fran- what I did there? Friends, moms, dads. Friends, moms, dads, aunts, uncles, cousins. Cousins is gender neutral, so. It is, fair enough. And the mama, ones and twos. Baby mama. <laughs> big mama's mama. Nikki. Big mama's Hello, baby. ladies and gentlemen. I am back on yes, camera. Yes, he's finally on yes, camera. Sir. You guys yes, get yes. to see that beautiful clap hair. It up, clap it up, clap Jeez. it up. Clap it up for him. My hair has been growing. It's Permed been up. Great. Okay. <laughs> no, that's my favorite thing to get in Nikki's lives and like Nikki has a perm. <laughs> All right. And ladies and gentlemen, you might hear a child in this room. Oh. Every other Hey, it's good ambiance now. Every know? now and again. <laughs> Every now and again. How you guys doing, man? How you doing, Nick? Dude, I'm doing good. I uh I've been doing a lot of different stuff this week. Okay. I, I bought yesterday I bought Stray the Cat or the Oh Stray? the cat game? Yeah, the cat game. So far I only played like five minutes because I it was just like so late, but I just wanted to see what this was all about. Okay. But it's so weird that you're a cat. Right. And yeah. plus two at the house we're at, we're not allowed to have any cats. So this is the mm. closest Cali could have to having a cat. It's your pet cat. Yeah. What do but you name it, it? See, so so far you don't name anything right now. Like you can't even name the cat. Right now you just cuddle with the kitties. Okay. Like oh, you hit triangle. Cute. I play on PlayStation, you know, shout out PlayStation. But like if you hit triangle, you just interact with the cats. Oh. And then fine. you're like walk oh, and you walk through like I don't know if it's post apocalyptic or like um, I don't know, like I think it's like set in the future, right? Yeah, I think I think so. But then at the same time, like not spoil it, but they like they show a, like a, a vault and stuff and everything. But you get separated very quick, and that's why that's I heard what it was it. super sad. And I heard well, I heard super sad and super adorable. It is super adorable. So I, I I'll give updates later. But destroy the cat has been. Uh, it's just weird that I bought a game about a cat for $30. Yeah, so if you guys don't know the main character of this video game, you are a cat. You are just a cat. So yeah, you're, you're playing this cat and you're just walking through the, traversing through the universe. Yeah, and then, like, it's true, though, like, can you imagine being in those circumstances? Like, we got, I mean, I'm, like, we got born into a house. Yeah. This cat got, it was out in the middle of, like, a creek. Would you rather be a dog or a cat? Dog. No. Uh. Do I? Cats I think I'd last, rather be a cat cats for sure. Last, like, lo- like they well, have cats, like, lifespan. Think about anybody that you know that owns a cat. Like, like that cat gets to do whatever it wants to do. Like it only gets love when it wants it. And for the most part, it's just like roaming around doing nothing all day. Like that's so fire. But like dogs, you could have the com- like the the satisfaction of like you poop in a yard and someone else picks it up for you. Yeah, but if you're a cat, you got to poop in a box and someone picks it up. That's also kind of fire. But, you, but as a dog, you can poop anywhere. That's also true. But what's so more cats though? <laughs> no, yeah. I mean, That's he's not cats wrong. Cats can go wherever they want. Actually, though. nothing worse though when you hear yeah. like a cat fight in the street. That's it's the, the most scariest. Yeah, for <laughs> real. <laughs> and then you're like, oh my god. Oh, when a cat hisses, dude. Yeah. I remember I used to slap my little cat's butt or like the belly. It was a belly. Because <laughs> <laughs> cats don't have an ass. <laughs> but like, I just remember this. I like, just like rapid tap, and the cat just like looks at me. But it was like it was funny. I wasn't hitting it hard. Don't worry. I wasn't. But, Not a cat abuser. But cats are so hilarious. Like they cat videos. I think cats are more just like since they don't know what's going on. I feel like like they know what's going on, but they're just like I'll just in their own they world just slaps things anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Cats are boxers. It's fire. <laughs> they did you? But I think I think I'd rather be a dog. But what's more, like I don't want to get sad, but like when what's sadder, like an old dog or an old cat? I I think that you see more old dogs. Like an really? old man dog or old woman dog, it's kind of sad. And they got like, like that big old cyst on her belly. Yeah, well, because like <laughs> cats. <laughs> it's nasty. I just wanted to throw up because when you said that, yeah, it was kind I, of know, I was like, what? <laughs> no, it looks like another ball. Can you repeat? You know, because like dogs are always super. Like most of the time, are super active and crazy. Like, but when you have an old per, or old dog, like this, lay around and kind of just mosey along. It's like an yeah. old old dog is definitely sadder than an old cat. Cats are definitely ath- more athletic than a dog. Yeah, I don't know. Wait, are they? Wait, wait, hold on. You say more athletic? Yeah, because think of it. Cats got that vertical, dude. But cats, I've seen those dogs with the vertical. But cats like, cats can definitely run faster than dogs. Yeah, agile. Because I have a cat. You ever tried chasing a cat? She jumped in the backyard of my neighbors, and they chased her around that. <laughs> I swear, like three times, bro, around their backyard, bro, and she made it out. Damn. She's breathing so hard. She's big. She's a big girl. <laughs> She's just like, uh, then not worth it. Oh, <laughs> not <yeah>. worth it. <laughs> 
But like you could see a fat cat run faster than a fat dog. Okay, that's fair. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I've never I, seen a just, fat cat run. Have you ever seen a fat oh, I've dog? Had, <laughs> oh, fat <laughs> dogs? Oh, I've seen some fat they, dogs get after it. The ugliest dog is a fat pug. Ugh. <laughs> and then you're like, geez, it's only eight years old. So like, don't look at me like that. Bro, look at me. We took my dog on a walk at the park and like we're kind of like we're just walking around and there's this old like fat uh, boxer and he just sits down, bro. Like there's this little girl walking her walking him and like he just sits down. It's not going anywhere, bro. She's yanking on the lead. She's not moving. And then he just slips his head out of the collar and then, just, and then lays down. Dang. Like, yeah, it's going to be a minute for that big boy gets up. Dude, you ever seen a dog with Down syndrome? What? No. That's the thing. It's weird. But it doesn't, it doesn't, you could tell it, something's like, the face is a little different, but it's like, how does this dog have Down syndrome? That's kind of interesting. It's really interesting. I, I didn't know dogs or animals could get stuff like that. Speaking of dogs, dude, my dog is the most spoiled animal I've Ooh. ever seen in my life, dude. Do you take, do you like put on a leash and everything and like take it to Petco and stuff? Or no? I've no, he, no, because like he gets worked up and gets wild. But like since he's always in like the bed of my truck, whenever we go anywhere, like he knows that like he gets a puppuccino and snacks. Oh, so you, he sits down at like at the back of the, or at the very front of the bed of the truck and puts like his little chin on the like of the railing and just is like looking at the window waiting. Aw, <laughs> like bro, like you're so bad. Bro. I'm, like, a, I'm a sucker too when I see dogs in any car when they're driving. I'm like, oh, it's so cute, bro. It's crazy too because like so he makes everybody that we pass. He put a smile on their face. Like, I don't uh, know what it's about. He like, put a smile on my face this morning. Oh, yeah. You were so happy to see him. Like, <laughs> I'm worked. telling you, bro, like, if he's in the bed of the truck and we're, and we're driving, like, anytime anybody sees him, they just get a big old smile. Like, hi, puppy. Aww. Did you buy it as a puppy? Or yeah. Like, well, oh, and he was the naughtiest puppy. Dude. And we knew, too, because, like, so we got, we went to, like, that puppy land place to get him. And uh, and for people who don't know, I have a golden retriever. And he's the so best dog. Adorable. So we so we go and like have you ever been to like that puppy land place? Puppy land? Yeah, like it's a place where like, they just sell a bunch of puppies and stuff. No, where is it? Where is it? I th- there's one. I think the where we went is like off of Eagle Road, Eagle and something. You okay. think maybe? Kind, but kind, so we go. What's up? What kind of dogs do they have? They all kinds. Of <laughs> the, they have, no, they do have like they have like Frenchies <laughs> and like other like they have like I've they have like this cool this. like Japanese hunting dog. I I wanted to what, get Japanese hunting dog. Yeah, he was really cool. What? They're, like they're real small and they have this cool cur- curved tail. It was hmm. awesome. That's cool. So, yeah, we, but, but they have all these puppies like laid out in like a like a fish tank, right? So they're all like you could go and pet them and stuff. I just my mind went dark. You just see floating puppies. Oh no, they're not. <laughs> There's no, no water. No, 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 no. no. There's no water, bro. <laughs> that dude, that's my favorite thing. Like, remember the wait, the not not puppies drowning, but like, do you remember? <laughs> like, do you remember the 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 pet store in the mall? Yeah, yes. That used to be like they always had that. Like, oh, I just missed. You had to go in there. Yeah. Whenever you're there, you had a question, Nikki. No, I have no question. Okay, but yeah, I want to. I, I want you to check this place out because I yeah, love puppies. Yeah, it's sick. We're you should take your kid there, bro. It'll be fun for Dude, him. I kind of want to now, puppy land. Yeah, it's awesome. So we so we go in there, right? And they're all the little puppies running around, having the times of the life. And then the very back of the store, there's like fish tanks, like where only one dog is in. Oh, so I go dude. back there and like that's where the can can we had looked online and I was like I need this retriever in my life I've always wanted one, so we Aww. go back there and he's in there by himself because he's naughty, so he spilled uh. his water bowl he pooped in the food side of it mm. he tore his pillow up and I was like. I need to see him. He just doesn't understand. Like uh, they don't understand him. I was yeah. like, oh yeah, I was like, exactly. I was like, I need to see this guy. Oh, that's so they, they take him out and like there's this little like meeting area where like they take the puppies out and like you could go play with them for a little bit. And we get him and he's this <laughs> he's jumping on my son, scratching him. He's eating my sister in law's um shoe. Wow. He's the so shoelace he's, he's tore like it up. Already, like, oh yeah, he's performing. Yeah, he's bad, bro. I'm like, <laughs> I love you. Dang. So we take him home and I then like now he just has all these like naughty tendencies. Like it's just so hard because like and like to not to laugh at him, bro, because like we knew from day uh, one that he was going to be a naughty boy. It's like a relationship. Like I could fix him. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> and so, like, yeah, Axel, late. his name is Axel. He's the best. <laughs> For real, though. Like so, he, yeah, he's a naughty boy, but we love him. Dude, that's sad, though. He's super gentle and kind with my son. And like that's all we really. Yeah, care that's all about. you need. That, yeah. But like it's seen. Uh. Seeing a dog by itself in a fish tank. That's sad. Oh, yeah. He was back there by himself. But what's crazy is like he was having the t- his tail was wagging. He was having the time of his life. Yeah, he doesn't. Care. Tearing his pillow up that he was supposed to be sleeping on tore it up, bro. There was like, cotton everywhere. Dude. I see. I had 
we had my dad surprised me with a black lab one time Ooh. and we named it Tyson. That's sick. And then the second day it tore up my grandma's garden and we gave it away. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry, Tyson, I miss you. Dude, back in the day, my dad had a real habit of like bringing dogs over, like and we're Ooh. And so we had got this one black lab and he was huge, bro. Had big old paws. He was just a little puppy. Dude, I love and we called him Kimbo. Dang, that's a hard name for that a dog, tough, dude. Bro. He was sick. Kimbo. Shout out Kimbo Slides, man. R.I.P. And then, like, his last straw, though, because he was another dog that just got into everything, he ate my dad's, like, air compressor cord, the hose, and was gone. What? My dad's like, yeah, he's not going to be here anymore. It then, like, sucks, Gave too. him to someone else, and I was like, yeah. I miss him. Saddest thing, too, I always see in movies when you throw the tennis ball and you run away. <laughs> 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 it's like, that's what they did in Air Bud. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It made me, that was the first time it made me crave vanilla pudding when I saw Air Bud. Ooh. Yeah. Yo, Airbud, there's so many Airbud movies too. Like that dog could just play every sport. Airbud, he was a golden retriever too. Mm-hmm, yeah. yeah, he's a golden retriever. Yeah, yeah. and he played hockey, I used basketball. To love that Did movie he play? So I think he played football too. Yeah, yeah. Soccer. I was like, this, yeah, I was like Soccer. this is getting ridiculous. Yo, but the, I think there's one with the like the puppies, the Halloween. Oh yeah, Airbud. Airbud's puppies. Huh? Yeah, buddies, like Air Buddies or something. Air buddies. <laughs> something like that. Yeah, I think you're. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right. Air yeah, buddies. and then they have like the Halloween special epi- or movie it was actually super fire. Really? Yeah. I mean, just to think how they train those dogs to do any of that stuff. You know, the thing about the retrievers, too, like, they're so smart. Like, I taught my dog fetch in an hour. Really? Yeah, it was the that coolest quick? thing. Yeah, it was super fast. And, he, like, he loves it. See, you know, it's crazy when a cat really fully committed when they play fetch with you. It's true. My cat, we had used to have a cat that played fetch. Really? Fetch is such a, can you imagine playing fetch with a human? <laughs> it's just the weird thing to see it, like if looking back as now. an adult you kind of play fetch with your kids but it's, it's your kid throwing stuff yeah. and you're going to get it or I get I get thrown off when I go like a kid I'm like come here but I'm like you're not a damn dog <laughs> my son would do that when he sees other like kids he's like baby you know like that like, like, oh. <laughs> it is weird seeing kids react with other kids when mm-hmm. they, like they're older but they're like I'm way older than you I no, can, yeah, like, you're take, just a baby I can take me. care of you you're a baby to me baby. <laughs> see, but it's weird when you talk to like my sister she's 13 but like she gives me memories of when she was like three. So it's kind of weird. Cause like it's the same age difference as if I'm giving her uh, a memory of when I was 17, but she's giving one when she's four. And I'm just like, you remember stuff when you're four. It, it sounds Dang. weird. Like I remember when I was four, like the farthest memory I could go back, I think is two. Damn for real. Yeah. Like Ch- actually- Chuck E. Cheese or like I watch, um, a super bowl. I remember super bowls. When oh, I was younger stuff. So. You've been a sports guy since day one, dude. Oh, when I, at my aunt's wedding, they tr- sports like I did a sports trivia on me, and I'm just like I think I was I was seven years old, and I just named every single football player and stuff. I was oh my like, god, you're yeah, f- I was you're like Rain Man. You're fire, bro. Yeah, dude, that is sick. But now I don't see. Yeah, that's the thing. I fell out of like sports, so not out of sports, but I don't know as much players and stuff. I feel okay. like I don't know. Yeah, but you probably do. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I'm you're just not giving yourself enough credit. I, yeah, I guess. Uh, but I, like, what's one sport that you know you're not knowing at all? <sighs> Hockey. Hockey. Yeah. I started to watch Cricket. a little. I watched a little bit of hockey when like the Seattle Kraken got their oh, team. Oh yeah. So I watched a little bit here and there, but then like I don't know, I just couldn't like couldn't click with me. Nikki, have you been studying on your logos? On oh, my oh, the, sports the, logos. The sports. We gave them that quiz. <laughs> yeah, so, that's okay. no, I have not. Have no. you been watching sports at all? Dude, uh, no. No, no. <laughs> it's a fun usually, time for baseball. Yeah, I've been usually just just here at the studio, dude. Working, you, Nikki. Working, do you have any? Yeah. I forget. Do you have any pets at your house? I have one cat. Yep. I, had oh, fish, you... I had a fish that just died. <gasps> R.I.P. Man, you put it down the toilet. Yeah, stressed out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have a What's your cat's name? I'm sorry, son. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's like my fish side died. Aw. Oh, yeah, he knows. Uh, cat is Bonnie. Bonnie. I Bonnie, like that. Bonnie. Dang, you Bonnie need to get a Clyde. Bee. Bonnie the bee. Bonnie the bee. Is, is, she, like, is she a bee? Dude, she don't listen to nobody. How old is like bee? That. She runs that place, bro. Dang, dude, cats run places. Yeah, they do. That's what I'm saying. That's why it'd be fire to be a. That's why every. Uh, apocalyptic movies too there's always cats that rule the world mm-hmm. like they're, they have something okay see i'm hoping one day though animals could talk to us i just want that before i die yeah somehow so somewhere. one little vocal cord that's it i don't even care it's like huh ah. like it's something <laughs> like it's you're trying like if a dog could, think of like a dog waking up to you like what's up yo what if like the first word animals could say was why that'd be so obnoxious oh, i know it's like yeah just shut up <laughs> like actually come on there's a why say up. why you know, why say up. D- uh, doug? doug yeah, yeah. Squirrel. Squirrel, because it would be hilarious to hear him all the backyards instead of woof. If you're like, hey, 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 like it'd just be funny. Hey, buddy, you know, can you be my master? He's all- <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> you shot so- the dog. Ah, uh, that'd be so crazy. Um, what was uh, there's, there's a oh the Superman 
there's a dog movie, right? The new superhero. Oh yeah, I saw that. You watched it? it? No, I saw the trailer. Yeah, for it. with Kevin Hart in the yeah, Rock, uh-huh. right? Like all the superhero, they had this, they have their, their dogs. Pets. Yeah, it was an interesting concept. I'm like, that's cool. That's cool. I, I want to watch. That's that's, that's, like it. that's your next movie because I watched uh, Nikki. I watched the scary movie Black Phone. Dude, have you seen it, Nikki? Dude. It's freaking amazing. It's I haven't seen it yet. So oh when Lalo God. watches it, he's gonna give us his review. Lalo, you gotta watch. I watch it this. I watch it tonight. Does your wife like scary movies too? Yeah. Yeah. Watch it because it's in, it, it is about like the kid like kidnapping. So it's gonna probably hit you harder it's, than it's it hit a, me. It's a thriller. <laughs> yeah, but it's a thriller. that's why I pack my thing on me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, hey, you show him yeah. that cake. Everyone's gonna walk away too, though. <laughs> hey. <laughs> or you might invite. It's that sure BBL life, scared. bro. Yeah. You're just carrying in your BBL. Yeah. <laughs> it is a weapon, yeah. bro. You got your LLC. I got my BBL, baby. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> but no, like I, uh, that movie looks so, it looks very interesting because it's a, I like that concept of like a superhero having a dog. Yeah. I, I'm super excited to see it. Probably my next drive in movie. Oh, the drive in. I need to still go. I need to go. Because I, I have a hatchback and I need to, it's empty fire. That sucker out. Lay the seats down, dude. Get up in there. Yeah. Because I don't even care if I take a nap. No, oh, that's like, the best. Nice. That's that's also what's cool is there's two movies. So if you fall asleep to the first one, you're probably gonna be awake for the second one. What's what's like? I wonder what the time limit is if someone passes out in the theater or like in the drive-in, and then you're like, you gotta leave. Like, they probably, they like, might leave you there because like there's no gate to get in. That's true too. You just down. You just yeah. they're like see it pack just up. Camping like see you, man. Whoa, I never thought of that. Be kind of fire. Or like you stay. Are you allowed to get there earlier so you stay overnight fee <laughs> so you can just have your car there ready yeah, so right? you get dropped off i'll be sick you know out at the drive though there's always like a siren there's always like a police officer or ambulance always go by Called um <laughs> yeah that's that's the problem <laughs> that's the, the last time we went was like there was like four motorcycles that went by and they were so oh loud. that's the worst too. so sad i'd be seeing I'd be, yeah dude i'd be seeing like tiktoks of people making things of idaho like as recently and just oh like, that's a thing it's like voicey. yeah as a sound yeah it'd be Boise then Meridian uh. Eagle, then it'll go like Nampa then it'll go Caldwell like it's all mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I saw one that was like that SpongeBob song yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah you saw that one yeah 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 uh, I was like damn oh the sounds of the <laughs> <laughs> I like the, the boy great meets, state yeah I like the boy meets world episode where he uh it's like, do you mind if I turn on this tape? I like, I like to sleep to like the city sounds. He's like, yeah, sure. And then suddenly it's like a someone yelling, like, get off my goddamn lawn. <laughs> and like he's like sleeping all happy. That's so. It's funny. something like that. Oh, I love stuff like that. That's just like those little insiders. Yeah. So let's get into the our favorite episode, our favorite segment oh. of the episode. What ifs? But what ifs? Before we do, yes, yes. Let's tap in and thank our sponsors. The long drink, of course. Yeah, we appreciate. Yes, thank you for the support. Appreciate the support. Shout out the long drink. It's a. Try the top selling taste of Finland, the long drink company. The taste of Finland. This right here is a cranberry flavor. And I'm telling you what, this cranberry is, it's good. It's good. And it, it? you can mix a lot of, instead of like using cranberry juice, it's a little Ooh. more extra alcohol. You know, drink responsibly, but pour this in some drinks, you know, it'd be oh, great. Nikki. Oh, he's taking off. Sally S- Chase is out of here. <laughs> oh. Don't lose. See, that's the thing as a kid. I wish I had. Oh that, my god, he just left. I wish I had that confidence, you know. I know he's not afraid of anything. The black phone, Nikki, hurry, get him. We, you guys are talking about. Oh my one. god, <laughs> this is scary. But like, if you get a kid, think okay, it's black phone. I'm telling you right now, it's there's a lot of jump scares. Okay, so put that in. So I don't know. How do you how do you feel about jump scares? I like them. You like them? It's that build up that like, and then it's like that super suspenseful music, and then like your heart rate's climbing the whole time, and then bam. I love it. Oh, that's so. Yeah. It, this watch man. But yeah, let's get back to the sponsors. But I just, I got distracted by that black phone. Yeah. Still. So yeah, the long drink, man. Thank you guys for your partnership. Thank you for your sponsorship. Make sure you guys, if you ever, if when you tap into the long drink, make sure you guys drink responsibly. Yeah. And I still haven't heard a bad thing about people like I'm saying they don't like it. Mm-hmm. It's just a solid. It's refreshing. It's a weird, like a good refreshing drink. Oh yeah. They're delicious. And shout out to wave media. Studio. Yeah. Wave media studios. Um, we, Nikki has some stuff to say, but he's handling some business. <laughs> uh, yeah. So see, like, what's your what's your um when you when you're like kid, like when you're first like trying to uh not discipline your kid, but when you're like uh trying to parent basically, right? Do you ever get nervous, or do you ever do you use do you like uh, do you have the mindset of you doing stuff that your parents did or not did? Um, kind of like. Like that mentality, like I'll never raise my kid like this. Yeah, I, the one thing like I w- didn't want to like, like <laughs> <laughs> I try to like just be like as ex- understanding and like patient as possible. Like, yeah. So like, as when it comes to, like disciplining my child, like it's not really a thing. Like especially not in public. Not in public. Like I'm like, hey man, like it's yeah. always like, hey buddy, like let's do this, let's do that. But like my son's like. He's never like super naughty in public either. Like he's pretty like chill. Do so, you ever like, give your kid the look? 
Um, yeah, but then he kind of like looks at me and makes me laugh. So then it doesn't work. You know, I'm like, hey. And then he'll like cock his head and He's smile. Like, what are you talking about? And then I'm like, bro, come on, man. <laughs> that's so funny. Because I can't imagine, yeah, the soft spot for your children. Oh, it's hard, crazy. man. Like, my, that's why, like, I'm more of like a patient, like, talker. Like, I don't, and like, and that's kind of like what I want to build our relationship off of. Like, he kind of just does what he wants to do. And like, when it's like something that's naughty, then we can, like, we, we address that when it's yeah. time. It's like that, um, you don't want to be, of course, like the hip parent, like the friend, but like you're still oh. the, but you're still like the, uh, you're still the parent, but you want to make sure your kid can come talk to you anytime. Yeah, exactly. And that's kind of like, as like, as they get older, I want to make sure I have that relationship with my children where they feel like they, whenever anything happens, they could talk to me whenever they need to about anything that they need to. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it, like you have to have that, that door of open communication. Like, and that's how you keep your kids safe. Yeah. Cause I feel like the, um, our older generation, like, like tougher parents, of course. Right. But like, like, great, like it's a good opportunity just to be like, uh, have them talk about their feelings and stuff. Don't be afraid to tell ask tell your parents anything. Yeah, okay. and that's the thing too. Like that's what I appreciate about my mom was like growing up. I was always able to tell her whatever I needed to tell her, bro. That's like, cool. And she was always like, my she was my mom first and foremost. Yeah. But secondly, she was a friend. Like you knew the respect it was, level. Yes, it was trust. I could trust her with anything. I knew she was gonna judge me or or whatever, get mad about whatever I told her because like she just always had her door open for what I needed to tell her. That's cool. See, I love that stuff. That's yeah. So yeah, it's perfect. We good out there, Nikki? Is he big chilling out there? Yeah, he's he's just sitting down. That breeze coming from the hallway though feels nice though. I don't know, it's kind of spicy in here today. I think I think he just doesn't like loud noises, so he kind of just like. Oh, I hear that. That's cool. Oh, Nikki, you want to get in the the Wave Media Studios? Yeah. So that. Yeah. Shout out our sponsors. Um, and you know I appreciate you guys for giving me a couple seconds, but (laughs) (laughs) of course, bro. Yeah. Shout out our sponsors. Shout out uh, Wave Media Studios. Is what everything this whole podcast is powered by so yes. shout out them we you know shout out wave media records shout out wave image studios shout out wave cartel beats um anything that you guys need through any of those platforms you can always let us know you know wave image studios photo shoots family, video shoots video shoots everything like that wave cartel beats any beats that you need custom made beach we could even do it in-house here in the studio uh wave media studios any recording you know if you guys need any digital design anything in general it's everything that we offer for for you guys you can always see our packages online you can go to wave image studios everything's on there you guys can let us know what you're looking for you guys can contact us uh you can go through any of our platforms and let us know exactly what it is that you're looking for also we do have an event coming up Ooh, Ooh what's that event for the event so Whole team is going to be out there. The event Squad. is going to be here at the lounge at the end of the universe. Such a fire Gem name, is it? dude! It's a fire name. So it's going to be July thirtieth. July thirtieth, we're going to be here. It's going to be hosted by Pike, not Mike. It's going to be Habibi, uh, Pike, the big dog, on the sounds. So Habibi is going to be the DJ the whole Ooh. night. Oh my so God, Habibi! You guys, it's five dollars for guys, girls. You guys get in for free. Ooh. Until 12 a.m. Damn. Starts at 10, ends at 2. And I'm pretty sure I'm manning the door. So if you're going to come say what's up to me. Yeah, Lalo's Eladro is going to be working the, the I'm working the event, baby. Yeah. Dude, you're working the event. Damn. You want to come chill with me? Yeah. That'd be fire. I'm down. So you want to say hi to Nick and I will be working the door. You guys can come say what's up. The whole Hell team yeah. is going to be there. The whole, whole team. Everybody's going to be there. Come out. Have a good time. We want to meet you guys. Exactly. So there is also, we are trying to do something pretty cool too where there is going to be uh we have the bracelets that are uh, glow in the dark. Ooh! So they're gonna oh. have different colors for different meanings. We'll explain that a little bit more. Oh yeah, I saw that on Pike's yeah, page. So I was like, oh, it's I one of those forget, parties. I what colors, but yeah, bro. <laughs> I mean, it's just out of respect, you know. Yeah, yeah, no, for uh, sure. Stuff like that. Actually, We're that's also, that's real quick to touch on. That's actually a really smart idea, and like, that's like like you said, a respect level. Like that's awesome, bro. I like no, that. Yeah, I like that idea. Exactly. It's cool. We don't want anybody feel disrespected at these parties. Shout out Pike, bro. But also, we're gonna have. Uh oh. What is there? What did you got there, Lalo? Oh, uh, what's that? The long drink is gonna <laughs> oh, be there. Oh, these guys. the long drink! Shout out the long drink as well. They're they're over here. They're sponsoring the event. The event. Let's go. Well. So shout you out the s- long drink, man. I appreciate everything that you know they're doing for us and helping us out and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, part of the team, man. Exactly. It's it's gonna be amazing. There's gonna be really dope people there. It's gonna be fun. Have a good time once you get there. Drinks, yeah, drinks, music. There's gonna be a lot more things coming as well. A lot more events. So this one's not gonna be the first one. And it won't be the last it one. It won't be the last one for sure. I'm going to tell you that right now. So <laughs> there's going to be a lot of cool things coming. Also, 
next Friday. Oh. Friday coming up. There's going to be a song coming out from one of Ooh. Wave oh. Media's artists. <gasps> hey. You guys want to guess which one? Ooh, who would it, it be? It is I. Oh! <laughs> so I haven't dropped music in like <laughs> six I... months, bro. Damn. But you have been playing unreleased music I... on your lives. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Dude, so everybody, I ha- yeah, I've been playing a lot of unreleased music I love on it. lives. Um, I've been but, listening to all the artists lately. Yeah, so I have a song coming out next Friday. Oh, what's it called? Can you release the name 729. right now? 729 is going to be Locked In. Ooh. I've had this song done since the beginning of the year. Oh, sh- wow. Hey, no, okay. No, yeah, beginning of the year. So been sitting on it. Yeah. Got a lot of songs that I'm sitting on, but this one's coming out. After that, they're just going to... Boom, 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 boom. All right, so I'm ready. Be on the lookout for Nikki's new yes, single sir. coming out this Friday. Some of singles. Be ready. 729? 729, Friday. Yep. <clears throat> that Fs. Mm-hmm. Speaking of what Fs... <laughs> Yeah. I have a good one, bro. And I've what, been saying, "What f's, man?" I've had this one since last week. Cause like, I on the drive here, I was thinking about it, and then I forgot about it because I got distracted. Mm-hmm. And then when I was talking to you on the way, I was like, "Oh man, I had this super cool one that I forgot." You got really. I've never seen you like. I was upset. You're pumped. I was upset, bro. So I'm excited for this one. You guys want to know what f's? What f's? That sandwich you have after a long day of swimming, bro. <laughs> oh. That that nothing hits better than that oh. when you. Just swimming in that chlorine You're water. swimming all day. You get out the pool. You get out the lake, whatever, bro. And you just get that sandwich in you. Oh, my God. Oh my God. What and sandwich it, you going for? Ham, cheese, <laughs> Talk to Doritos me. inside, bro. Oh, my Talk to me nice. God. And you smash. What, what's, oh. what's the bev? With the bevy, it doesn't even <laughs> matter, bro. It's that chlorine oh, water. Actually, it does <laughs> matter, bro. Water. Look, I'm I'm pumped up Yo, right I now, guys. Like what, hey. The bev, dude, is an ice cold Coke, bro, in a uh, can. Hey. Oh, you crack uh, that can? In a can? Uh, mm-hmm. wow. It has to be the can, bro. Yo, yo it has to be the can. Dude, oh, want, get get the camera off hey, me, bro. Because... Doritos? <laughs> Doritos? Has to be Doritos? Yeah, what yeah, kind of Doritos? 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 No, nacho yeah, normal, cheese? normal nacho cheese Doritos. Dude, smash that Sammy, dude. Extra cheese, bro. Extra cheese, bro. Dude, Mama, talk to me nice, not the 3D, you know. Dude, no way, it better <laughs> not be. It better cheese. not be. Don't you, know you come saying? at me sideways with Hashtag this. Nacho right cheese, baby. Hey, mm. Not that, not that cool ranch. Not that cool. Ooh. Ranch. <laughs> bro, that was probably my favorite. What F's so that's far? Hard. Yeah, yeah you got. One. You look like high. I, I am a little bit, dude. <laughs> that was I, I, the adrenaline's pumping, dude. <laughs> I'm worked up. I'm ready, man. dude. Sprinkle a little. Worked a torque. Worked and torque. Let's go, dude. Let's make that a shirt, dude. I want um my my go to sandwich. I think would. My it was a fried bologna oh, sandwich with some Lay's chips and mustard. Yeah, no, no. See, you're missing no. out, bud. Maybe, man. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe spit in it. I don't know. <laughs> Yo, fried bologna hits different fried too. Bologna. Though I love when you fry it and this that little bubble pops up. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, it's ready. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Come and get this bologna. <laughs> <laughs> Below what on a, my knees, baby. What, what f's, Nick? What f's? Um, let's see. What f's? You know what f's is when you find any dollar bill. Or any bill, my any bill, but it's in your pants in the washer, mm-hmm. and you take it out, and you're like, "Oh my god, I could use this right now." So I'm rich, I'm rich, but it just feels good to have money stored everywhere. I need to do that. I need to start putting bills everywhere in the house. Then I'm like, "Oh wow, I find this." Oh, that's actually yeah, that is so f- that is fire, bro. Yeah. Like finding that money in the pocket after the, after the laundry, so sick. I like it, Nikki. What F's for you? What F's for me, dude? I was trying to figure out something as you guys were just speaking right now. Uh, but what as for me is when I wake up in the morning before my alarm, bro. Oh, Ooh. that's a good one, bro. That just came to my that just came to my head, bro. I wasn't even thinking, bro. I wasn't gonna say that, bro. I didn't even know what I was gonna say. But yeah, but it happened. Up, waking up before your alarm. Bro. That's a fire one, bro. Because then you're like ready for the day, ready for everything. You know, and that rarely happens to me, bro. I ain't gonna. I hear me, that. You know, <laughs> that's that's what F's, man. That's just yeah, F's. Honestly, that, that sandwich hard. though. Thank okay. you, bro. I was worked yes, up, and I've been, I've had that one locked and loaded, Dude, ready, right. bro. Sandwich, this, this food after swimming. Yeah, Honestly, it's weird. Bro. Yo, clap it up for what else, dude. Yeah, yeah. When, you're, when your stomach hurts yeah. and you're crying, laughing, because mm-hmm. oh. you're like, I'm gonna destroy this sandwich, <laughs> but you're tearing up. <laughs> I want to fucking die. Dude, speaking of sleeping, though, Nikki, do you think I was thinking of this? I got a little like you know doing some stuff last night, Speak and that got me. me thinking. But like, what if you? Do you think sleeping is our the cheapest way of time traveling? Oh, because think of it, it's, elaborate. It, ha- it happens in five seconds. You wake up and it, and it's already like you go to sleep at eleven. You fall asleep. It's only been for like five seconds, and it's a whole new day. I mean, technically, you did t- travel time. You did. I think it's a short term of tra- time traveling. What you been on, Nick? It's poor man's. <laughs> oh, see, 
Let's talk about that. It's a poor man's Nick's, Nick's been ripping that pin. I've been ripping hey. that pin. I've been unlocking. I've been getting Xbox achievements in my head. Damn. <laughs> but like, isn't that, isn't that kind of different, like weird to think about? Because you could be in a coma, in a coma and you'd be like 30 years, but you've been like, I've been out for like 30 seconds. But you're oh, still, in a way, it's a, it's a quick time. It's a funny uh, way of time traveling, I think. Yeah, well, that's what they say too. Like for guys that are like, I heard this like this video was talking of this, of this dude who was locked up for like an extended time, like ten something years. Is like, what's crazy is like when you get locked up, you think everything outside is gonna be the exact same when you get out, uh, but the world doesn't stop moving. He's yeah, like, I'm weird. here. I am thinking that my neighbor's still gonna be next door washing his boat, or my my dog's over there, but my dog has been dead for ten years. Mm. He's like, you know, like that's what's crazy. Like I think it's gonna be a shock to the system. That is weird to think about. It is actually crazy, man. I remember you're like stuck in this little time bubble. You really are, and you have no idea what's happening outside. <sighs> I worked with these dudes who were like uh, work work release guys, mm-hmm. so they came on our crew to work with us, and they weren't allowed to leave the job site because obviously they're in prison. Okay. But we snuck them out to Walmart. Dang, bro! And these guys thought it was like twenty seventy five in the future because like they had never seen self checkout before. Oh wow! And they're like, "What is that?" That's true because you're not gonna do like the most techno technological advancements in prison You're yeah not gonna waste the yeah, money no in idea prison. so like yeah. yeah like what is this so bro that's so check out homie that's the future baby <laughs> hey, uh, let me show you <laughs> step yeah. back you ever heard of a qr back. code I got this. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah it's wild man to think about head. that stuff like they just miss out on life on uh it'd be it'd be weird because like um that's true like i think about that too people in like even in the 20s well i guess 1920s we're in the 20s now but like if they if they saw the avengers now they'd oh. freak out yeah, they or would like, think it's real. Or they think it's real. Yeah, exactly. Damn, that'd be kind of sick, though. Speak, uh, like, I want to watch the new scary movie that's coming out, Nope. Oh, yeah, Jordan Peele. Shout out Peele. Come shout on the show. Out, shout out Aliens. Come on the show, too. <laughs> or not. I don't know. That's kind of scary. <laughs> Dude, do you think Aliens are us or no? Like, humans? What do you mean? Or do you think they're, like, a totally different little gray guy? No, they're whole, They're totally different. You think they're bro. totally different? Yeah, 100% I do. <sighs> do you think they're evil? Do you think they'll be evil? They might be. What are the chances? Like, it's a big universe chance, but, oh. like, if Aliens are nice to us. I think that what if they're like our like guide? guide. It's like they've been like Loki like helping us advance through See, well that's what I'm thinking. How does languages start? How do we start like the first people like fire? Like but then you start to, but then you start telling people this is fire and then people just to believe like okay, that's fire. Well, it's just like evolution, right? Because like I saw this thing that were like monkeys or like chimpanzees in the jungle are like they're in the stone age right now. Whoa. So like they're building primitive tools and like things to like cut stuff and build with. Ah, that'd be kind of. So like nice. right now the apes are in the Stone Age, and that's like you could see that. That's insane, dude. So you tell me, we gotta prepare. Yeah, <laughs> maybe like our kids, kids like we'll just say like 150 years. Like maybe the apes are like start driving cars. That'd be so. Yeah, that would be, like they're just part of society now. Yeah, that's right. That's and that's insane, dude. Like they're. That they're advancing and evolving into the Stone Age. That's yeah. nuts, dude. It's just it's just weird how li- life's just weird. Life's just a really weird thing. Yeah, it's, and we're like here, and we're just making a podcast. Like we're just living life. Like while yeah. there's like monkeys just preparing for their own like civil war that's coming. And then there's like some. Yeah, and then there's like saying? then like someone else. They're just at work right now, hating their job. Maybe listening right? to us talk or listening. Yeah, it's just weird. Happy Monday, still by the way. I don't know if I said that. Yeah, Happy Monday, guys. <laughs> but like, Happy it's Tuesday. Just, Happy Tuesday, Happy Friday, Merry, Merry Christmas. <laughs> but like, it's just I don't know. Just that aliens. I always wondered if it'd be. I had uh, I had a scary dream of it was like the stormtroopers were uh, Darth Vader was oh, coming up. Shoot. He was pulling up in the sky. You wild. And then I was. It was weird though because of course I love Star Wars, but just to see aliens. I'm saying in quotes, but like to see something in the sky like uh, coming die. towards us. Like it has to put everything to like rest like everyone all beliefs just goes out the window if, you see if there's some kind of the death star pulls up and if it's just death star, that ain't I'm, no mood. I'm <laughs> passing out uh, and dude, crapping have, my pants I have see I always two things I want to know how I would react if I won the lottery and how I would react when I see it yeah we should go buy Powerball tickets I think it's like the mega moons of like <sighs> 660 million have you ever gotten close at all nope <laughs> <laughs> Because it's, and then I feel so bad that people use the same numbers every time. I think we have a better chance of going to the casino. Yeah, let's go to, let's go put like, wild horse. Let's put 50 or jackpot even. Jackpot even. I heard nobody wins anything at jackpot. I hold wild wild horse is the place to be, bro. Mm. Ooh, shout out Pendleton. Pendleton. Uh, Wild horse it is then, boys. Let's put, let's, I'll take out a loan. 
No, okay, we can put it on no, red. No, no, no. Let's put it on red, baby. <laughs> I'm just smiling at you guys. Five grand on red. Let's go. Yeah. Where'd you get my... Callie's going to be like, where the fuck did you get this money? Like, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, shout out to aliens. <laughs> just, I just want to see if that happens. Like, or there's another question. Like, do you think we're, we'll be alive when the world ends? No. No. Not a chance. It'd be Wait, weird. I hope not. But can I feel so bad for our future future. Yeah. I'm alive when the world ends. Yo, I used to have this like. <laughs> hold on, because the other day I was thinking, bro, I was getting scared, bro. Wait, so what were you getting about, scared of? I was in my house by myself, right? And I was oh, thinking, okay. I was thinking like, yo, like if we die. No, right, what what if we're gonna go out just like the dinosaurs, bro? Uh, yo, that's crazy. You say it's that get, it's getting hot. It's getting hotter and hotter. Son, can you sit down? Here? But we got AC. Yeah, yeah, we got AC, bro. bro like, I don't even want to be outside right now. That's what I'm it's saying, so hot, bro. bro. It's like it's like we're in the hundreds, bro, all week, bro. And I'm like, and I got like my hats, like my fitness, bro. Like I'm not even oh. trying to wear them because I don't want to sweat ah. through them. Dude, you know what I'm talking about, Nikki? Dude, that's why I haven't wear hats, bro. That's yeah. why my hair has been like, ooh, know, it's, it's out there, out, bro. You know what I'm saying? But like, that's that's the reason, bro. It's just like, it's just too hot, man. Bro, and, it's like, way too hot, bro. It's it's, it's, it's like. I don't. I don't get it, bro. I don't, it's, kind of, I don't. it's feeling like last summer though. How the straight seven hundred. It's s- like it's been a while. I'm so sick of not having like springtime, bro. Yeah, that is an F. Everybody wanted summer though. I want. I know and that's the problem with Idaho too. Is like we always complain because it's winter and cold forever. Like, can it just get hot? And then it's like, but that's a, that's a, also the problem with Idaho is we don't have the in between months mm. or seasons. It's one we have other. like a week of fall and we have like a week <laughs> spring. of spring, and then it's hot as <laughs> balls and it's cold. Spring's such a weird time, too, because it does, like, it could get really cold, but then, it, like you said, just, like, on an Easter day, it's just so nice. I'm sick. Would you, so, like, here's the thing. So, somewhere like Washington, the state of Washington only has, like, six, maybe 35 sunny days. Yeah. Would you trade that weather? Like, would, But it's probably never going to be, like, yeah. over 100. Mm-hmm. Would you trade sunny days for colder weather, for, for cooler weather? See, I'm kind of, like, I'm kind of selfish because I like the idea of having to be able to have those days. Okay. For but like, because I want to be like, I'd like to go just in the lake at like some point. Okay, that's fair. Then again, I don't know. Like, that's just my thing. I never take advantage of things though either. Like when the day's nice, I just I just stay inside because it's too hot. That's true too. But like nothing that f's too when you just get in some cold ass water. It, that f's hard. Like at a at a lake when you're drunk with all your cousins and like family and stuff, and you're just like just falling in the you're like he yeah, might yeah. he might drown, but he's having a good time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Leave him. He's cool. He's cool. He'll, him, he's cool. he'll figure it out. He's fine. You just see me floating. <laughs> but yeah, like that's the only time I know. Like, but yeah, summer, like hot days. I just stay inside. Yeah, oh, dude, I'm telling you, like we went out. Yes, because like so I've been working like long hours. Like I was like, so I was talking to my wife like, yesterday. I was like, man, like I want to make it a conscious effort, like to get out of the house today. She's like, All right, cool. Let's do it. And then, like, I instantly regretted it. We both did. I'm like, <laughs> bro, like, it is so hot out here, bro. Like, dude, I didn't. It was, we were going to the store. Like, I didn't want to turn my truck off. I wanted to have the AC. So it was you just cool want to. That. Yeah, exactly. Oh, my bro. gosh. Dude, as you turn it off for like a second, bro, it's really hot. Ex- and it takes forever to get back cool, bro. Yeah. Like, I'm like, come on, man. Shout out whoever made AC. Big shout out, bro. Say, so I can't roll with the windows down. Oh, I can't because yeah. my so my, I have my little baby in the back, and it's like the yeah. wind's too much for her. Exactly. Baby's just hitting the baby's good forehead again, hit with the wind. You're like, yeah, Stop it's it. like you can't breathe. <laughs> like, okay, oh. windows up. It's like my son before we started the pod, bro. Yeah, bro. Dude, he was like, I got scared. I don't know what's going on with the man. Yo, I got scared, bro. I was scared. <laughs> yo, I was oh. like, I was like, yo, what, you good, bro? He's like, <laughs> like he said, I need to spit it out, dad. He's like, he's like I need to spit. I'm like, what? <laughs> Dude, choking. That's uh, scary. I'll run. I'll panic. Like that one time I told you. I, I started panicking, bro. I choked. I, I was scared. Yeah. I was playing in, like back, I think NCAA 4, the one with Tim Tebow on the cover. Okay. And I was playing with uh, that against my dad in the GameStop, and I choked on some ice. And I he gave me the Heimlich in the middle of the store. And then he's like, what are you <laughs> yeah. choking on? I'm like, it's just ice. <laughs> he didn't have to do that, bro. He would have just melted it. <laughs> well, I, well, he didn't know what I was choking on. He's like, oh. what are you choking on? I'm like, ice. And he's, he let go right away. He's like, what the? He pushes you down. He's like, you made me do this in front of everybody. I'm like, dad, I thought I was going to die. <laughs> Scary, man. You ever, if you choke on ice, let he's me like, know. Get out of town. Huh? Yeah, that's, <laughs> you know, that's what's crazy. He was like, you know, your dad was panicking at that moment. Oh, he's I know. Like, like, I'm going to lose, lose my boy I'm right lose now. My boy. <laughs> Not my boy. I was like, glad he tried. He's like, right. he's like you'll, feel, you'll be fine. You know, he loved you in that moment. You know, he loved you. Know, you know, it's like two dad when you're like choking. He's like, rub some dirt on it. Like, what, my throat? <laughs> <laughs> just, I'm just choking. <laughs> That <laughs> does freaking damage out. Yeah, I don't have like shout out to my wife because she has like 
that instinct where she's like, boom, I'll fix it. Yeah. And I'm more of like, I need a second to get in that mode because I'm panicking initially. The the number memes? Yes. I walk around, bro. I walk around like... Pacing. (laughs) Doing (laughs) jumping jacks for no reason, bro. I'm like, I'm like, uh, like, I don't know who, who is it, bro? Like Spongebob, you know, like... Mm -hmm. (laughs) Well, like, um... I it's so cool watching those videos where like the dad instincts like oh, all, the, catch all the saving dad videos. Like, I'll hit one of those fire with my son the other day, bro. He was about to fall to bed. I was like, boom, got gotcha. Dang, that's tight. And you're, he's like, my dad's the best thing ever. Yeah, right, bro. And I put on my <laughs> superhero cape. I was like, I'm about this life. That's so cool. It was I, sick. Dude, I never, when I was younger, I never did the cape thing with the blanket and stuff. No? No. Dude, I was out jumping off my couches and stuff. Dang, you tried. You tried to fly. <sighs> yeah, bro. We used to tear my mom's house up as kids, dude. bro. All of us boys in there, we used to like flip the couches and make like, uh, forks out of them, dude. Yeah, it was yeah, awesome. See, when your kid gets hurt, do you it's like crazy. be like, oh, or you be like, you're gonna be fine? I do that because I let him figure it out. Because yeah. like, I, when you give them like, oh no, then they start to cry. Dude, when you see like a kid smack their head, just Ooh, they go rough. yard on a corner of the coffee table, and they just like it's, hard, it's hard to see. And then you're like, ah, oh. you can't look, <laughs> you can't look at them. <laughs> no, you can't. You that's can't, so bro. true, bro. You're just like you see it, you're just like, dude, it's, that's what to your phone. Away, bro. Yeah. That's what Callie's niece was running on the sidewalk and it was disconnected from the grass, right? So there's a little bro. lip. And right when I saw her like stumble, I looked away. No. Because <laughs> I was far away, so there's no way saving her. I mm-hmm. just scratched my head and I'm like <laughs> <laughs> You know, bro. I it's so hard not to go, ooh. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I, I oh no. Like, yeah. <sighs> I wait. And it'd be weird just to laugh. <laughs> As they're crying, <laughs> dude, it's yeah. funny. He doesn't start laughing. He's like, oh, it's like, like cry laugh. <laughs> yeah, he's just like, yeah, your kids just like making all the other children uncomfortable because they're like hurting themselves and just crying, laughing. <laughs> 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 like Joker. <laughs> like, nah, no, 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 that's not right. Yeah. Oh, see, dude, I can't, I can't imagine. Like, I'm, so, I respect you guys so much because, like, as a parent, like, even with like Callie's niece and stuff. I'm just scared that they're going to hurt themselves all the time. Yeah, you kind of yeah. have to just let them live their lives. Oh, that's so and crazy. it's hard to it's hard to do. Because, like if they like, want to get a tattoo, just let them get it. Yeah, you have to. <laughs> <laughs> but like, that, yeah, like that's just I don't your mind has to be constantly running. Yeah. Well, think about like how hard it was for like our parents before cell phones Gosh, were made. Like, dude, because I, I remember being out in the streets, bro, with my brothers, like running around. Yeah. Like, and there was no way we could call her. There's no way she could know we were OK until we finally came home. Do you think do you think we're kind of lucky that we could hand our child like an iPad or a phone that just to be like instead of like because not like saying it'd be like a babysitter of itself, but just to have the kid like be obtained was like uh, yeah. processing something. Well, least. that's what that's what's cool about like technology now is like you could put whatever you like, whatever like educational show or whatever on your iPad on the TV like and like at least they're like learning something. <laughs> And right now, my son it loves PBS Kids right now, bro. Like, they do oh, this part cool. where, like, they do, like, this, like, move your body dancing part, and then he goes crazy when that comes on, bro. Dude, I used to watch so much Yo Yo Yo, yo Gabba Gabba with Ooh. my, yeah, this crazy song. But yo, Gabba Gabba. yo Gabba Gabba. But, yeah, I, do you think, are you jealous of the kids growing up, or do you, would you rather prefer how we grew up? No, man, because I get, I don't know, dude. Because think of it, if I had a, a an iPad instead of a PlayStation 2, I don't know where my creativity. I don't. I don't like. I don't. I don't like it to be honest. No. No, because like I feel like it's a. It's like a way for like kids to get distracted over different things and stuff like that. That's true. I like see, just go I see, go I plug in. I don't like because I see it with my son. Like an attention span. Or? Yeah, kind of like like it's just like they put they they it's just what they constantly want to do. Uh, That's what they want all the time. And it's just like as a parent too, you're just like you kind of allow it because you're just like it gives me it gives me. Some you know some free time to do yeah, something some else. Yeah, some free time to do something else, but then it gets too much. Yeah, I think there's like a fine line, some kind of balance you have to have. But yeah, I think yeah, it's like yeah. I I think that it's on like us as parents, like yo, like let's go outside and ride bikes. Exactly, yeah, just exactly. do something. But also at the same time, like I've seen it where it's hard, like because kids just want to have their iPads. It's like no, I don't yeah. want to go outside. But and then as and I'm like kid, yo, me neither. It's hot. As a kid, they're just <laughs> like absorbing facts. everything. <laughs> like facts. facts, bro. Facts. Facts. Continue doing what you're doing. Huh? Right, my bad. Uh, yeah, hey, my bad, bro. I was overstepping. Hey, I know you're yeah. right. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. <laughs> I wish I played. I didn't think about that <laughs> when I was a kid. What's that? I wish I played more outside when I was a kid. I was, man. I I was outside with like my neighbors all the time, bro. I was, like, I was outside eating dirt. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I, I, told story, dirt. I told you guys that. I told you guys that. Saw me and Martine making mud holes in my mom's yeah, yard. Like little piggies. Holes, <laughs> <laughs> like little piggies. <laughs> Dude, a pot belly pig as a pet. Oh, scary. Kinda, I used to want one. Pigs kind of scare Same me. Same as though. a goat. A, a pig scares belly? you? What? Yeah, I don't know why. It's just, they're just kind of weird. Like oink. 
Exactly. I don't know. Like, maybe it's like the way they feel, like rough, like leathery hair stuff Dude, that's going on. Uh, like, uh, your skin's so thick, bro. Yeah, and that's like you know that's bacon. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's the problem too. I might just cut. Dude, it looking at off. an animal, knowing what food they are, it's kind of freaking crazy. I got no, chased I by like a pig it. one time, bro. Huh? I got chased by a pig one time. See, you did. Wait. What happened? So I was at my grandma's house. My grandma has all kinds of animals, bro. She got goats. She got. Uh, <laughs> ponies, horses. She got cows, chickens. She got all, bro. You name it, bro. Dang. And she told me to go feed the uh, the pig, bro. And did she like give a, the? Uh, it's like in she... a big like hole, bro. It's like a deep hole, and it's like big walls like this, bro. Oh, whoa. And I'm just like, whoa. okay. And she's like, you got to go down there, though. Oh no. And I was like, okay. And like, I went down there, and the pig was laying down, bro. It's just like, you know, Chilling. like whatever. You know, it's just like <laughs> sleeping, bro. And I dropped something, bro, and it, it got something and it looks at me, bro. And I was just like, bro, I was like, I just like kept on walking slowly, bro. I was like, I was like maybe like, I was like 12, bro. And I was walking slowly and I was just like, he gets up and like dusts himself off and everything no, like that. Yo. Bro, and he's all with his feet, bro. I'm Dang. just like, bro, and I dropped everything, bro. And I fucking, I ran. I ran up <laughs> the, the little, the little ladder that they had, bro. And he's just like, Cry. I was just running towards Bro, he me. wanted you bad, Dude, bro. I'm just like, please not me. <laughs> please not me. Oh, that's me. terrifying. Dude, they're, they're, they they run fast, bro. I'm not going to lie. Dang. They're, they're I didn't know that. Boys, I don't like that fast. either. <laughs> And they're just like, I was just like, oh, making bro. weird noises, yeah, like bro. snorting at you, bro. Can't even breathe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, See, so hot. Pigs are kind of scary. Pigs are just kind of scary that way, yeah, bro. Yeah. They're this nasty is a, too. And they'll eat you. Dude, they eat everything. Mafia, right? They throw like people in the pits and pigs just eat them. Yeah, they eat everything. It's weird. Yeah. I don't, I don't know, like pigs. that at all. See, but pigs. they're so smart too at the same time. Shut yeah, up, I feel like maybe like a little mini pig would be kind of cool. Because they make those right, like a little tea, tea like cup Babe pig. was yeah, good, teacup pig. Yeah, yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Babe was a good movie, was it? It was. What did Babe do? Babe just look at he's hold the. What fort was that down. movie about? Hold the fort down Charlotte, at the farm. Was, isn't it Charlotte's Pig or something like that? Is Charlotte's Web. Like Charlotte's, Charlotte's Pig. Web, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I got up. you, Doc. I got you. Wilbur. Wilbur. Yeah. Wilbur. Shout out to Wilbur. What was Babe about? Babe was just like I think. I hate it. It was a it was a frowned upon animal on the farm. And then oh, he okay. needed to get a respect. And then I think the second one, Babe gets loose in New York City. Oh, Babe in the City. Babe in the City. I like that. Babe. Is it, you know, when you call your, like, significant other Babe and stuff, does that just naturally go to you or do you just, like, do you convince yourself to say, I need to say Babe? No, it's just naturally. It? Yeah. Isn't that weird? Hey, Babe. What about Babe started? You guys, you guys, you guys hate my son call me that? Does he? No. Oh, I yeah. have heard it. I yeah, have heard yeah. it. Yeah. That's, what my son That's so him. cool. I like that. I'm, yeah. I'd call my friends. I like sometimes. nicknames, like, like, yeah, just like, it's just so it's a cool bonding, like babe. Mm-hmm. I could call my friend Hagen babe. Hey babe. Hey babe. I think I, do that. I think I do that more often. My son does really, it, bro, and I got used to it, bro. So it's just like I feel like, like what's up, fool? Yeah, I'm like, yo, what's up, dog? <laughs> <laughs> bro, we, yo. me and your son had such a fun interaction when we came to the studio. <laughs> so I'm talking to my mom, and you're like, oh, what'd you say? I was like, awesome, sick, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was so funny. My man says Roblox on one phone. <laughs> FaceTime his mom on he the has, other phone. Yeah, he's on two phones right now. And he was now. like, I'm FaceTime my mom. I was like, awesome, sick, bro. He's like, the way you said it when you came in, there was so much energy. <laughs> I had to awesome give it to him, man. He gave me that energy. I gave it right back, bro. We out here. We're boys. He's a so damn excited. coffee. That coffee guy. Oh, well, yeah, I was feeling It's funny, too, because he's excited, but he hasn't seen you guys in so long. I know. It's been forever since we've seen little baby Cell, dude. <laughs> He's doing his thing. Dude, Sally, you call them Selly Chase, and that's fire, dude. Bro, he made up that name, bro. He did? Mm-hmm. Oh, I like what? that. Yep. Dang. That's a dope bro. nickname. Did you have a nickname growing up? Okay, my bad. <laughs> don't don't make him mad, He's gonna bro. fire me. He said, "Yeah, good." Dang. Did you have a Did you have a nickname growing up? Me? Yeah, Nikki. Oh Nikki. yeah. Yep. That's fair. <laughs> Sorry. Nice and simple. <laughs> I mean, mine was like Nick. Yeah. Yeah. My dad used to call me Bubba's. Bubba's. Yeah, I, that's I, Bubba's a nice one. That's guess, what we call guess, my son too. That's a good one. There's like Cheech. Cheech. Call me Cheech. Yeah. Idiot. Dumbass. Yeah. <laughs> just kidding. Bubble cute, boy. Cute names like that. Good for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> the, you know, the, the, the cute ones. <laughs> GFN. <laughs> yeah, I think we call, oh, it's always like Bubs with my son or like Sunny. Aw, that's so cool. My little Sunny boy. I love, I can't wait. If I do have kids, I can't wait to give them nicknames and stuff. Just a little. Or if, you know what's cool? Like dressing them up, dressing up your kid like putting like little shoes are so hilarious to me but they're so cool oh, I had some, I'm sure Nikki has some too like my son's first pair of Jordans yeah. are so oh, fire, dude, oh dude yeah, that's has, so my, badass my son's some retro fives bro Damn. I had my, my son had retro 11s mm-hmm. fire have you ever, have you ever uh, I'm, probably, I'm sure you might have but like have you ever like matched an outfit oh yeah oh, so badass. 
No, I haven't. It's sick. You got to do it at least <laughs> one time, like, bro. I was just like, I can't, I can't buy you this stuff right now. I was like, this is like, really expensive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <You're> like, <laughs> I've matched so. it with my son. Like, what's crazy too is like, Nick, you know, you spend so much time with like your wives or your significant other and like your kids and stuff. Like, my wife and I like will match on accident. Ah, which is fire, bro. Just, it, that's a, it's a good feeling. It's cool. I'm like, yeah, we look fire today. Damn. And you're like, and then people are gonna be like, you match, and like, no, I'm like, sure. And then they don't know the, the mm. real story. Don't speak to me. They they don't, don't, don't speak. speak to me. <laughs> if you don't can't do this, you're not at my level, bro. Dude, we're but it was suck. It sucks when you went to school when you felt good and someone's wearing the same shirt as you. Oh, bro, that's like the craziest thing, right? Uh, like the, the same yeah, shirt. You picked this. Today of all <laughs> days, everything? start getting a little mad, huh? You yeah, do though. You get you a little worried. Well, then you like, then you like leave out. your sweatshirt on because mm-hmm. you don't want them. It's 130 see. degrees. You have your sweater on. Like, nah, that's cool. <laughs> Dude, when you, okay, so speaking of like going to school, like school fits and stuff like that, right now. Mm-hmm. So you guys ever get a school sweater, but you guys wear it throughout the whole day of school, like the first couple weeks of school? Oh yeah, I did that multiple months. It's so hot, dude. Worth it. It is worth it. Dude, then you're just sweating underneath that for the bro. drip, you, though. You just want to show off the sweater, bro. It's true. It's and then it's weird. It's not like it's not weird wearing a sweater every day. But if you wear the same shirt every day, you're like, why are you wearing that shirt again, dude? That's just weird. Those summer fits for the first week of school. Oh yo, my god, yo. that f's. That's that f's right there. Bro. New shoes on in first Ooh, day. Oh of my school. god, oh. the first bro. Monday of school, bro, and you're wearing the most fire. Hey, bro, you're <laughs> you're walking around like you know. Walk- uh, yeah, you're like, hey, <laughs> yeah, it's something light. Yo. Something light. <laughs> when you're like when you put on those new shoes in the fir- uh, when you wake up, like when you're first morning going to school, you're like, can't wait. You're like, Fuck, you slip them on, you're not even trying to crease them you're like you're like uh, walking you know, the you're, yeah. you're lifting your feet all the way like this you <laughs> you, you you avoid every stain on the sidewalk like a too penguin. you don't want anything on the bottom of your shoes yo there's nothing you don't ever feel more confident than the very first day of school with your brand new fit on bro dude honestly bro <sighs> so good honestly damn that's fire bro <laughs> take, me back. Right now. take me back is there, ever, is there every like sometimes you want you guys want to go back and change the fit you're like I oh dude. all the time no i wish i uh i wish i took my fits more seriously i so, never yeah. i was always pissed when my mom's like we gotta go school shopping and i wish i would have took advantage of that now if we i wish back. i wore more gym shorts during school Inter- what do you mean what do you just mean? never wore one pair of gym shorts through my whole school time <laughs> shorts just, at all in general pants what always jeans Same. i wore shorts Same. under Same. my cap and gown <laughs> <laughs> i wore shorts every day <laughs> yeah no it was just my mom would never let us oh it was yeah. like a no it's like because like, look good yeah it's, it's a professional good. type of deal which good. is like it makes sense because like you're training at this time like it's training to go into the real world, especially yeah. like like, a, like your junior senior Isn't year, that whatever. Weird. Like, it is kind of weird. I look at you, Lodro, with the Budweiser shirt <laughs> right now. In your short shorts, <laughs> in your baby. Short shorts. The thighs out, bro. Are you kidding me? Look at me now, buddy. This is what happens right when you don't let your kids wear shorts to school, dude. <laughs> <laughs> You're rebelling. You go as short as you can. <laughs> then you go as short as you can. I want you to wear Daisy Dukes. So I would. <laughs> Patreon get. 50 Patreons he's wearing Daisy Dukes and those cheeks hanging out. No, dude. You got that BBL flying, dude. Yeah, I remember in middle school, every single every single year, bro, I bought nine pairs of shoes. What? Nine? Nine pairs of shoes, bro. Damn, every bro. single every year? Every single day I would go to school with a different pair of shoes. Dude, that's, that's, fire. that's fire. And they're just like, how many pairs of shoes do you have? I'm just Don't like, worry about it. Like a lot. They're just like, <laughs> it's why? Still, and they're just like. I still know. Dude, I would like, because I would work in the field that whole summer, bro. Oh, she had So cash. I had cash, bro. I had money in hand. I never yet had calves. Pay. So like I'll yeah, cash out, bro, and I'll have all this nice gear. Bro, Dang! Every every single time, every summer, bro. Oh, that's so fire! But I remember it'll like last me the whole year, bro. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it'll last me the whole year, bro. I remember like I got a job like my sophomore year, going into junior, and I had my own money, and I was like, oh, this is the game's over, the bro. Game is over. Dude, I remember my first. I can't be stopped now. Here. My I'm first paycheck. Flexing, bro. My first paycheck, I think, was eighty bucks. And I thought I was like, I could take my whole family out to dinner right now. <laughs> <laughs> See, what's crazy is like me and my buddy Tyler, we had like. We started to work with my oldest brother, Javier, doing, like, construction. Oh. And he was our boss, like, all summer long. So, like, we were making, like, adult money. And this is during, like, As, like, 16, 17-year-olds, bro. It's like, so we had fire checks. Dude, that's dope. It was dope. I I wish I I remember. I have nothing to show for it. I should. I didn't have any bills (laughs) back then. Uh, Nothing to show for. I bought it. I think I bought, like, my biggest purchase, I bought, like... The Xbox 360, but it was like the Elite version when it first came out. Oh, it has session. like a Call of Duty sound. Yeah, on. damn, that's fire. Dude, that's pretty nice. See, at my first paycheck, uh, I bought Jordan shorts. I went to Foot Locker and the Car Jamal shop. Car Jamal. I went. I went to. I got um, Jordan shorts and then a Jordan shirt. And damn. I was like, I was, and I, t- I put it all in the car. I put them all. 
took it all my clothes off and put it in the car because I was so <laughs> I was so excited, dude. Damn, that excitement's and, different. And that bro. was like my that was my first time too. I think I ever bought uh, Jordan clothing. Okay, yeah. fire. Yeah. The mall. Huh? Then you went back into the mall <laughs> with, <laughs> like, with your new fit on. <laughs> I go back into Foot Locker. Hey. Why did you wear it? Nope, nope. It was not different guy, same hoodie. Dang, bro. You know what's crazy too? Like that first time, like when you get your license and like you hit the streets by yourself, dude. For the first it feels time. it feels like you're in a legit movie because you're like, this is I'm by myself. There's no one. It's like, the most crazy experience, weird. bro. Like you're just out here mobbing by yourself. I turn. Bro. I was going straight, and I just put on my blinker just for just because because <laughs> I love that idea. I could put on blinkers and stuff. <laughs> I remember I turned 18, bro, just mobbing my little car, bro. Dude. And I go to the gas station, get some gas. I'm like, yo, I think I'm going to need a, a Swisher right now. <laughs> oh feeling wild, God, bro. God, no way. So just mobbing, dude, smoking this little cigarello, dude. Yeah, Chill. Dude. Like, that, like people are watching yeah, you. Like bro. the whole world's watching you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, bro. I know exactly what you mean. Like, yo, and you're like, yo, I feel so cool right now, bro. Like, I feel like, like I'm invincible, bro. And you're just ashing out the window like you're all fucking yeah, badass, bro. bro. It's just like you just stare at the car dude. right next to you. You're just like. You're just puffing on it. Yeah, bro. Just. Choking Loki, <laughs> bro. That's crazy. Like, what an experience. You know what I mean? Like, that's wild to even think about. So I got a question for you guys. Do you guys remember when it, you guys' first purchase of Jordans was, and what kind of Jordans were they? Um, I see. I want to. The ones I can remember, I, uh, I think my first was I think maybe like in eighth grade, but they're they weren't like I think what's the. What's the Jordans that are not the actual set? Like it's his own, like has a separate Jordans. Is that a thing? Like how there's the Air Jordan, right? I think they're just Air Jordans. So they're just like, it was all black with like a cool, like silhouette blue under. Okay. And I lost them. I don't even know where they're at right now. I had some, yeah, I had some like that, like some Air Jordan, like they're mids and they were like, I think they were white and black with like a blue accent too. We might have the same pair even. Whoa. I mean, they look like it's like the elite ones. They almost right? look, yeah, yeah, just they like that. Look like yeah. Boots. And then my my first pair of retros though, I was a, some Elevens, like the wind like ninety six. They're all red Elevens. See, and how old yeah, were you? How when long you ago got? was that? That wasn't like two. That actually wasn't too long ago when I first bought my first pair of retros. That was like maybe twenty eighteen, maybe. Mm-hmm. Okay. See, I've never I've never owned Jordans, none of the actual Jordans, and then I think I've only owned only two pairs of Jordans my whole life. I had these sick a uh, pair of like uh, dunks though for a long time. It was so sick. See, I I rocked Iversons. Oh, I see, some Iversons. The answers. Those are the sick, answer. bro. And then one time when Westbrook was really popping, I bought the 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 Adita flights. Ooh. And then oh, the Derrick Rose. That's what I got too at Foot Locker. Was the Derrick Rose. And I remember at Rec Center the second day I played basketball at the Rec Center. This dude just dove with me at the ball. And this, the court tore up my shoe on the <gasps> so all the cotton popped out. <laughs> I just paid 120 bucks for these. Yo, I had, I used to have Yo, a th- <laughs> like the original like uh, Kevin Durant shoes. I remember buying those like the KD ones and twos. Uh, I had a few pair of those. My Yo, friend bought the to- shacks like from the Walmart. Or high tops. Fire! What's up? Were they mids or high tops? They were lows because oh, they're like a. Uh, there, yeah, there are lows. Always appreciated the lows, man. Mm-hmm. Then they were like, <laughs> it was cool because like the colorway was like a BSU color. Ooh. They were like black with a little bl- a blue and like the KD symbol on the tongue was orange. It was sick. Fire. What's what was your first, Nikki? The first mine picture? were some Gatorade retro sixes, bro. Oh, like fire, bro! What color one? They were uh, the Gatorade, the great. Oh, they had the green. Oh, they had the green, uh, the green oh, ones, the right? Yeah, the, the orange, orange and the blue. Ones. I got the orange ones. <laughs> And Damn, those are the that's first tough. ones that that's I got. Tough, bro. Dude. The same day they came out, I went to Foot Locker and I purchased them, bro. I like that. I was just like, I was just, I just, I was like, dude, I don't know what I just did right now, I, but I did I something. Like it. See, Nikki, I like it. Then after that, bro, that's all I ever got. It was all over after that. I used to be just Vans, bro. I just used to have Vans and Nike SBs, and um. Oh, dude, S- now, Nike SBs. Oh, the first dude, time I bought them was at Pac Sun. Super comfortable, mm. bro. Yo, so, shout out to buddy Eli. Eli has the. Craziest collection of SBs I've ever seen, bro. SBs are dope. Those are dope. He goes hard on SBs. Nikki, what's your favorite shoe now that you ever bought and do you still have it? Uh, I don't have it. I mean, I got rid of most of my shoes. Dude. I, I, I got to get my collection back up because I had some retro sixes, the Gatorades. I had some 11s. Then I got some Raptor 7s. Then I had the retro threes. I got Jordan 1s. Then I had retro 4s. Hi. <laughs> uh, my favorite ones were the Fire Retro Fours. So that's your favorite. That's favorite a dope ones, shoe, bro. bro. Those were my favorite ones, and I sold them for the same amount of price that I bought. Damn, them. well, that's good. Some good resale value. Yeah, that is just like it kept its it kept its value. See, that's I like how I'm that. with. I wish I had that Jordan knowledge because, like, even with cars, if I'm looking at a car, 
It could be any model. I'm just like, I think that's a Ford, though, still. But the prices of <laughs> shoes are going down, Jordans, bro. They're going yeah, down? It's, yeah, the market's going, it's, it's dropping it's right a bear now market. For, for whatever reason. Hey, yeah, that's, why that's I'm the time. It happens. happens. I'm holding, bro. I'm holding. No, that's the time to pick smart. up some shoes. I could pick up my first pair of Jordans. You could just be be on the lookout. From you, both of you. you on. If you guys, what if I, if I finally get retro Jordans, which, which one should I get? I feel like you would either go good with some threes or fours. Okay. I was going to say maybe in some fives. Retro See, fives as well. Retro fives are a little... Uh, uh, the only thing I didn't ever like about him was a tongue, as I felt like it's just too too fat. Dude, it's so funny when you like you analyze the shoe, like what all. Oh, Bro, I had some sick fives, but like they were like, a, uh, was it like a, the son of something, son of Mars? I think. And like they had oh, this cool, yeah, 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 yeah. they were white and black, had this super bright pink going around, bro. Oh yeah, my God, yeah, they were dope. Does Jordan make like stilettos and stuff? Because that'd be <laughs> fire if a girl's just rocking so. Jordan. Jordan, sick, Jordan makes golf shoes. Oh. They have retro Ford Jordans. Oh, and cleats too. Yeah, bro. Oh yeah, I saw that. Uh-huh. I'll See, see I got to show you guys my 2K22 collection of Jordans. Them there, <laughs> <laughs> I have them all in there. I'm on Madden. I put all my players in Jordan cleats, bro. Dude, that's so I love when you make the shoe brand turn into like that type of shoe. Mm-hmm. They're so so cool. sick. Some ice skates, Jordans. Oh, dude, see? Dude, we could be honest. Jordan, come on the show. <laughs> Michael Jordan, come on the show, bro. He's all right, man. Uh, thanks for having me here today. <laughs> and, uh, Can you imagine having Jordan just sitting on the futon right here? He's like, why the hell am I even here? <laughs> he's smoking his his big old stogie. Yeah, I'm like, Can you yeah. not smoking here, please? Here, please? Um, he's <laughs> like, I'm like, Nikki has his kid in here. Could you please put that out? Just like, saying no to Jordan. <laughs> It's like ashes on my knees. I'm like, ow. He puts it out on your kneecap. He's like, <laughs> well, it hurts good. It hurts good. So good. <laughs> Dude, I haven't so, smoked a cigar in a while. No. Uh, yeah, I went to that cigar shop maybe like four months ago. I like mm. a good cigar. Do you? I don't. I have had like two in my lifetime. Was the last yeah. time you smoked a Swisher bottle. Dude. What's that, bro? <laughs> was the last time you smoked a It's been a fat minute since I smoked a Swisher, dude. What about you, Dick? Dude, I don't. I think ah, uh, I'm gonna go 2019. Okay. 2019. <laughs> so in a fat minute, I smoke a nice a Swisher Sweet. Give me a fat Stoke though. That'd be kind of cool. Dude, fat. I want to put five cigarettes together. <laughs> smoke all day. I remember. I was like, I didn't know how to smoke like cigars, like little cigars like that. Mm-hmm. Dude, I was just puffing, bro. Dude, I inhale it. And I don't think you're supposed to. Yeah, they, to. they told you, bro. Dude, my, my lungs, like, the next day, I'm like, hurt, bro. Yeah. I'm just like, I'm just it burns so good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Something like a cigar, like, when it just hits your head, and you're like, oh, jeez. Oh, it does, too, bro. You get all wonkier, and you're like, I, I somebody help. Yeah, I'm like, I want to do this. <laughs> Sorry, I just got to lay down on the grass for a little bit. <laughs> for real. Dude, lay on the grass, but then you feel like you're on that uh, spinning machine in the carnival. Oh, my God. Getting the like spins is the dude, worst uh, thing, the bro. The fair is coming up, dude. Dude, the Ooh, fair. are you guys big fair guys? Surface wave oh, fair. Yeah, bro. I love the fair. I love the fair too. Dude, Food. fair always it's always during my birthday. So oh, I, there you go. It's nice. I just hate going because it's super hot. Yeah, that's the worst part. And the second worst part is the cholos out there looking for trouble. Which one? Which one do you go to? You go to Caldwell? Yeah, you don't, yeah. Dude, yeah. that Caldwell fair right don't by the road. Don't <laughs> don't <laughs> the road. You be careful. You be careful out there. Dude, if you fall, you fall on concrete. It's true. You gotta be careful out there. It's not fun. Dude, I get some chocolate almonds and just freaking go on every ride. I, I have to, but that's like nostalgic, bro. We yeah, always have, went to the Canyon County, County Fair, bro. And called up. Yeah, they called think about the, it. The called one is something else, man. They, you can't trust nobody there. You have to be careful. I that's where I lost my wallet, man. I had that story. I told you guys I lost my wallet. Oh. There's like I had just cashed my check. There was probably like six hundred dollars in there. Dude, lost my wallet. I called the next day. Like, yeah, we have it here. And there was like twenty bucks in there. I was like, I, at least I didn't take it all. I used to be against bank accounts. Mm-hmm. And I used to always have cash on me because I was just too. But I remember that same thing. I lose my wallet in Vegas or one time we we got uh, some friends and I got so drunk and we went to a movie theater. Right. And my wallet fell out of my back pocket. So I'm fear. just like, ha, 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 ha. like, I'm just I'm drunk. Like, I'm having time. So then I w- the next morning they're like, oh, we found a wallet. And then all my money is gone. But you don't want to accuse anyone stealing. So it's just like the shittiest thing. Of Damn. Wallets. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah. Or when you have, like, the one time when I got pickpocketed while I was sleeping in downtown Boise. <laughs> so funny, yeah. bro. <laughs> just get, like, this. this Sleeping kid, on the bench. <laughs> kids, listen, I just, this kid put the money in the bank. <laughs> Trust the banks, bro. You don't use cash or coins. When that is not, some coins. That is not a top three moment. Yeah. That's but not a top three moment. Speaking of top threes. <gasps> top three fair foods? Let's get a top three. Oh, fair foods? Yes, sir. Because <laughs> are you, do you rock the funnel cake or not? Have to. You do? Yes. Or what is the uh, elephant ears? <laughs> Yeah, oh, is that a thing? Yeah, I think so. I think so. What's your f- top three f- things to get at the fair food? This is hilarious. Dr- and I, so, do you want to go first? You go first. Because I'm going <laughs> corn dog with no mustard. And number one? <laughs> Ballpark. No, number one. Dog, number one. Starts, no, go honestly, three to one. Why? Come on now. Because pronto pumps, <laughs> F pronto pumps, okay? I hate you, but whatever. <laughs> um, 
Um, so top three fair foods. Because honestly, if I see the Idaho pizza stand, <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going there. I don't even care if it's not a fair food. Come on now. Does that, what, so what's your number three? Number three, I say, I'll go deep fried Twinkie. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Twinkie? A deep fried Twinkie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, on a stick. Good. That's good. Okay. On a okay. stick. Jalapeno on a stick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, and then number two, I'd go... I do like a good funnel cake. Like that mm. powdered sugar, dude, mm. so good. Strawberries. Mm. And then I love, I just love any, like when you go to that random stand, they have like burger sandwiches and then like they yeah. might have something else. But I just love um, any like uh, some type of like brisket barbecue with like macaroni and cheese and stuff. Okay. Yeah. They have those barbecue like, stands. Those barbecue stands. That's just any barbecue stand. That's my top one. Cause I just love any. And then drinks. I honestly just drink anything. That's out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I'll go next, number three. I'll go the turkey leg, bro. Dude, you rock oh, the turkey leg? I have before, and I don't regret it ever. So number oh, three would be turkey leg. leg. Isn't that weird? This, you're a caveman. Yeah, with turkey a leg. Viking. <laughs> number on. two, I will go, I would say funnel cakes, but like, there's something about like, it has to be like either at the beginning of the trip or at the end of before we go, because like a funnel cake in the hottest part of the day is not it. Yeah, or like the only acceptable to acceptable uh funnel cake scenario too is when you're at like a roaring springs mm-hmm. and after you know been swimming you eat that funnel after, cake. So yes yeah, sir yeah. but so number two i'll go like a burger and fries okay you going are you in that one crazy one where they have like ham and beef on it yeah i'm not out of that load that sucker you're up <laughs> all the meats <laughs> <laughs> all the meats <laughs> number one actually is like is this food and drink or is you this can do food just, and drink? Okay, so I'm gonna take number like, two. This is a stand. It's so I'm gonna stand. trade two. Top three stands. I'm gonna trade number two for the lemonade. Whoa, you're going. What for is that? It. That lemonade stand. What is it? Is it just like that one little? Li- it has like a lemon on it. It's too. the biggest yeah, one in the fair. Yeah. That lemonade hits different. Okay, normal lemonade and strawberry. Oh my god, I forgot one. Okay, what is Outside it? Outside looking at it's the the flavored nuts. On. Honorable mention is favorite flavored nuts. <laughs> Those one uh, honey roasted, honey roasted nuts. Oh, they do hit they different. They smell so good. Oh my god, they do, bro. Uh, okay, but yeah, number one. Number though. so number two is the lemonade stand, yep. strawberry probably preferably. Strawberry lemonade. Just then they make it all fresh squeezed right in front of you. Oh my god, daddy chill, dude. <laughs> number one though, yeah. is the Peronto pup. It is the covered in That's musty. the number one. Yes, Damn. sir. Yes, sir. You can't come. Yes, sir. You tell people to come. Can you? Are you allowed to tell them to ease up on the mustard? No. <laughs> Brush that thing with mustard like you Dude, do and so, hand it over. It's so nasty when it no, just drips on your fingers. It's, oh my god. Well, then that's why you have a napkin. And like, why? Why don't they give a ketchup uh, option? I want because babe, in. it's not existent. I don't want the mustard. No, you have to. I still respect your list. Though. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Clap it up. Sir, yes. clap Pronto it up. pup. Clap it up. That's a good name. I wonder where the hell Pronto pups came from, though. <clears throat> I don't know, man, but I like it. Because it's pronto, it's right now, and they're popcorn uh, dogs. See, okay, there you go. You just got it figured out. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I don't Nikki, think Google. Top three fair foods. Top three is gonna be chicken strips with fries. Oh, Whoa, he sauce. went straight. That's such a hitter too. Right. Always Any, a hitter. Wait, what dipping talks? sauces? We got to get ranch, bro. Oh, oh, my God. Ranch and everything. Oh my god. Yes. Oh, has to be, bro. Second is gonna be the corn dog. Okay. Dang. See, see. And third is gonna be a nice glizzy, bro. Oh, <laughs> it's true though, dude. All right, cause it hits glizzies, always. The glizzies that they have there, for some odd reason, bro, they hit different, man. What does Nikki put different. on his glizzy? All right, so what I put on my glizzy? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, Sally. You gotta toast the buns. Don't bro. touch that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> camera, cameraman. Yeah, what All goes right. on the glizzy? Come here, so right here. It goes ketchup, mustard. You gotta put mayonnaise, bro. Yes, sir. Mayonnaise, mayonnaise. on a cat. No, Always. yeah. Really? Every Thank you, Nikki. Time, I could, bro. I could second that, bro. Yes. I've never heard of mayonnaise on a hot dog. Put one. Have a glizzy. Put some mayonnaise on the bun. What? It's fire, bro. That's so. Ins- that's cool. It is good, and it is cool. Wow. Clap it up for Nikki's top three. Yes, yeah, sir. clap it up for mayonnaise on a hot yes, dog. Sir. Clap it up for top fa- hot dog, hot dog. Tell hot us dog. your top three fair foods and In top the comments. Next two, In the we comments, might do yes. top three fair rides. Oh, yeah, that's a good one, too. Because I still haven't done that one where it, the there's, like, two that are, like, horizontal to each other, and they go all the way. Oh, bro, that one's so much fun. It's terrifying, but so much fun. Dude, you're so high in the sky. I can't do that. And, like, when you pause at the very top. And Dude, that down, sucks. And it's like, oh, 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 oh. Dude, I even get shaky legs on Ferris wheels. Do you? But I like a... 
I have to have it. I can't be stationary. Like I could go on any ride, but if it's stationary, I just get a little more freaked out. Like the Ferris wheel, I usually yell, "Come on, hurry up!" Because <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't take that long. Get off the damn cart. But like, fair. it's just scary. Ferris wheels, fair risk. Yeah, fair. Yeah, fair sl- the fair smacks for sure. Fair, the fair is just a fun time. Ten out of ten would recommend. And f the all the carny games. Yeah, you have to figure out how to win them. Ever, I I've won twice on the basketball ones. Best feeling ever. My wife, or maybe it was me. One of us won some giant dog. I don't remember. I think I won it for her. Dude, I ne- I don't think I've won a big stuffed animal. Bro, it was a pretty good one. I had to run to like my car because like she was like one away from winning the prize. I had to run to my car real quick to get some more cash. For Dude, it's carny. always they get you. They always. Get oh you yeah. Cash. Oh, bro, I'm telling you. You spent forty five dollars on this ten dollar thing. Exactly, and this is just the. And but it's also out. but it's the fun of the game though too. I remember I was like seventeen. I got this girl got me to spend like eighty. Bu- the carny girl. She gave me. She like got me to spend a hundred bucks. She got you. And I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna make this. She got you, bro. <laughs> Dude, I was so sad. Yo, I like the one I I crush at is the dart one into the balloons. Dude, Pop! that's cool. I I I always wanted to conquer the ladder. Hold on, uh, hard. That's like turning, know, twisty. And then the carny's like, you just do this. <laughs> yeah, and like I like the one where you have to throw the ball into the oh that the tub. Uh, yeah, and then the slanted circle. Uh-huh. Yeah, that one's cool. Or the, do... the rings on the bottles. Let's do really top cool. three fair games next time. All I think. Right. Yeah, hell yeah. How long have we been going, Nikki? Should we wrap it up? Yeah, we are at an hour and ten minutes. Wow, oh, yeah, I like that. Good job, guys. Really impatient right now. Clap it up for <laughs> clap it up for the boys once again. This show is for Sally Chase. Brought to you by Long Drink. Yeah, uh, a little taste of Finland. <laughs> is that what they said? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I did Scottish. You did a little bit. It was a little Scott for us. Of course, the first time I do an accent, I don't even know what to do. It's all right. It's it's, right. it's the pressure. Just know I love you, Long Drink. Yeah, shout out to Long Drink, sponsor the show. Love Par- you, Long Time. Uh, the f- taste of taste of Finland, man. Taste of drink, Finland. drink responsibly. Drink to have fun. Drink to wash your mouth. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> Don't do that. Drink to drink. Yeah. Drink also, drink. I want to give a big shout out again to Wave Media Studios. Like I said in the beginning, we have podcast. We have everything that you need for your media needs. We could take care of, take care of you. If you guys need any music videos or anything like that. We could take care of you guys. Studio sessions. You guys could hit us up on any of our platforms. If you guys even want to reach out to us on Service Wave, we could direct you the right way. But Thank July you. twenty, sorry, <laughs> July thirtieth. <laughs> be here at the lounge at the end of the universe. I prom- promise you, you don't want to miss it. It's gonna be good. Sounds by Habibi. It's gonna be hosted by Pike, not Mike. We're all gonna be out there, the whole team, whole squad. Lalo Elodro is going to be there. Elodro will be working the, the door. door. Nick might be chilling yes. with me. <laughs> yes, sir. They but might Chico be... probably chilling with me. You think so? Yeah, I'll pro- probably I'll be chilling with you. I think I'll take Cali too. When yeah, she can come chill. Say less, bro. You know, but yeah, come out here, support, enjoy, have a good time. Actually, come out and have fun with us. You get yeah. to meet us. A little Mexico might come out. Have a taste of Finland. There. Little Mexico is definitely going to come little out. Little Mexico can't, can't come out. Dude, I'm going to get a little Mexico's autograph. But if you guys want to buy me some drinks, little Mexico might come out that night. <laughs> Ooh, just that being said, yes, yeah, sir. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for support. Like, share, comment. Although yes. we've been, our comment section has been popping recently. Yeah, so thank, thank you guys you. for that. Keep that.